Hi, grade 4. Welcome back to our topic on a nation for Filipinos. Are you ready? Let's start. Topography refers to the physical features of a place. Different places on earth have different forms of natural resources. Some places have big deposits of minerals. Some places have agricultural lands, which is very big. And some places are along coastlines. Do you know where your place is actually near to in this Philippine topography? The Philippines lie within the northern tropics. Our natural resources are made up of four important sectors, land, forestry, minerals, and fisheries. We also have different land and characteristics, from coastal to woodland, to lowland, rainforest, and mountain slope. These characteristics determine the kinds of plants that grow in a place. The population of a place on a plain or valley is generally made up of farmers, while that of a place near the sea or ocean is generally composed of fisherfolk. The physical characteristics of the place help greatly to provide the basic needs of the population. Rich and fertile agricultural land, if owned by the farmers themselves, can adequately provide the population of the place with their food and other basic needs. The people can also raise farm products for other people in other regions. Unfortunately, the natural characteristics of our country where people live have not been used fully for the benefit of the majority. Over the years, many farmers have moved away from farmlands that were converted to sugarcane, pineapple, and banana plantations. Many rich agricultural lands were also turned into golf courses, shopping malls, housing subdivisions, and factory sites. These conversions may have brought some economic activity to the place or region, and some jobs may have been created. But many farmers became landless and were forced to move to the overpopulated cities and try to find jobs. Oftentimes, the wages the farmers received from these jobs were not enough to buy even the seeds they needed for their farms. Human beings have to meet their diverse needs to sustain life. These needs cannot all be found in just one place since the main produce of a certain region may not be produced in other regions. For example, the province of Batanes cannot grow rice because it lies along the path of typhoons, but its people raise cattle and other animals for meat. The province of Benguet has vast mineral deposits but has a shortage of meat and fish. Thus, the people of Benguet export the minerals and import meat and fish from other regions. The people of Negros Oriental grow sugarcane while Cebu produces corn. Negros Oriental is the largest producer of kapok. Many Filipinos still live and work in the countryside. The work as farmers, laborers, or fisherfolk, many Filipinos also work in factories, offices, and businesses. But there are too few jobs available for the large working age population. Many college and university graduates have not been able to find jobs, and many have jobs not related to their college education. Other works who cannot find jobs in the country have gone abroad to find work. Our government and business leaders must try to create more work opportunities for our citizens. One temporary solution the Philippine government offers to ease the unemployment problems is to send its citizens to work abroad. They are the OFWs or Overseas Filipino Workers. They help our nation by sending money to their families and relatives. Most of the time, however, they face many difficulties and struggles in their places of work. Do you care about what happens to our overseas worker? Education is very important to every Filipino family. 
through education, we gain knowledge and learn skills to become productive citizens. The Philippines has many schools with nice buildings and classrooms in many towns and cities for the education of the children and youth. These schools, mostly privately owned, have the equipment and books their students need. Some of them even have computers for their students' use. Most of the children who go to these schools usually finish their schooling at the college level. But these schools charge very high tuition fees, many times more than the earnings of a poor family. It is unfortunate that not all Filipinos have the same educational opportunities because many Filipinos cannot afford to send their children to school. The Philippines needs to have enough good schools for all its citizens. These schools should be found in different parts of the country and not just in the major cities. Whether rich or poor, Filipinos deserve to have access to educational opportunities and facilities. It is the government's duty to give all its citizens a chance to be educated and to succeed. When you are ill, are you able to see a doctor in your community? Is there a good hospital or clinic in your locality that you can easily go to for consultation or treatment? Is the price of medicine affordable? Do you know that it is a human right of all Filipinos to receive adequate health care? Our government is trying to provide the same health services for all Filipinos. Throughout the country, there are medical clinics or hospitals where people can be treated by doctors and health workers. Some hospitals have first-class modern facilities. Most of the other hospitals provide only basic medical services. All citizens should ask their government leaders and officials of government agencies to provide health services for all Filipinos. When all the citizens of a nation have good health, they will be able to work productively and lead happier lives. Today, we learned about the importance of a great nation for all Filipinos. Did you learn something today? I hope you do. If ever you have questions, feel free to message me or leave a comment on the comment section below. Thank you so much, Grade 4, and God bless you!